So I was going to chuck this foam gun away at one point, it was clogging so badly, but I thought I'll give it a clean. Put the old cleaner through it and see what it does. I usually do this after two or three goes. When I've changed the two or three cans, I usually go in with the cleaner. I don't do it every single time, but you can see it's a fairly pathetic dribble coming out the end of that gun, isn't it? With the cleaner on. But surprising how much foam came out. I really was surprised that it was pushing that much foam out of the gun. Kept turning it up. You can see it's like spaghetti, isn't it? And that's just what's in the gun. I mean, that's a can of cleaner on there. So everything you can see coming out of there is just what's clogged up inside the gun itself. So the idea is put it on, give the cleaner time to do its job. And then I'm cleaning up the end with a bit of WD-40. I find this softens the foam up quite nicely. And then you can just give it a very gentle rub at the end. It gets rid of all that. And the gun looks as good as new. Now put the new can of foam on and see how it works. Nice and tight. Turn it up. Look at that, loads of flow. And now I'm using it just to seal around the edge of this underfloor heating tray so that the liquid screed doesn't get underneath the tray and start to lift it up. I'm Roger Bisbee, come back and see me soon. We'll have more tips on Skill Builder.